Muslims all over the world uh, began the observance of Ramadan, a month of fasting and contemplation. Joining us, Adina Lekovic. She's director of policy and programming from the Muslim Public Affairs Council. You taught me all kinds of things already. <laughs> it's been a good morning. Well, because I, I did say to you, out of respect, mm -hmm. I checked the hadiths. Mm -hmm. I saw two conflicting hadiths as, as to whether men can shake hands with women and, and and I'm going too deep I guess right right well and that and that's how most Muslims look at it there's always conflicting opinions you know mm -hmm. I mean there's all these old sayings about you know you put two or three people in a room you get five or six opinions that's pretty much how it goes the most Muslims are pretty comfortable shaking hands between the sexes there's always exceptions um, with uh, people who are more conservative like ortho you know it's the same thing with Orthodox Jews or mm -hmm. you know so th that's and where the do you find are. in, in, in so if he you did not offend you thank God oh absolutely no we got down to hugs here <laughs> uh, a little bit there, so. <laughs> that's going a little too far. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> you, part of what your job is to present a face of Islam that mm -hmm. most Americans who do not interact don't know. We, 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 we kind of have a thing based on the movies, based yeah. upon fear, based mm -hmm. upon anger mm -hmm. after 9 11, based upon assumptions about what, a billion and a half people or that's so right, in this that's world? That's right. Something like one out of every five people on the face of the earth are Muslim. Mm -hmm. And, you know, unfortunately, since 9 11, there's, there's an understandable amount of uh, skepticism and, uh, and concern, I think, about um, what drove those, hij you know, those hijackers and those deadly killers to do what they did. But the reality is that Muslims are very different from what we see. And, you know, most Muslims and very around different the world. From each other. And They're from each other, exactly. The, the, the greatest diversity, um, you know, in population here in the United States and around the world is among Muslims. Um, the most populous Muslim country is actually Indonesia, you mm -hmm. know, outside of the Arab and South Asian world. You know, that's something we, world. all through the years, that's always brought up that it's Indonesia, and then people rapidly forget it. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you know, when we're scared, we forget the, tr you know, we forget facts. And, I, and that's always, you know, that's the common enemy. And so Ramadan, you know, that's just started last night is kind of a good time for us to sort of hit the reset button, um, because that's really what Ramadan is about. And it's it, a time of self-reflection and self-renewal. Last third, is it the 30? It lasts 30 days. 30 it's a days. month long, and it's marked by, uh, you know, you know, as a takeoff on on that popular book that's about to turn into a movie, which is Eat, Love, Pray. Mm -hmm. We think of uh, Ramadan in terms of um, fast, pray, give, and mm -hmm. those are sort of the three components of Ramadan. We fast uh, from sunup to sundown. We refrain from food, water, sex, and hopefully beyond that, additionally, anger and, you know, all those baser emotions that we have. So it's supposed to be that self-reflection aspect of things. And then there's, a, a you know, more prayer than usual, um, both in your home and, you know, in congregational prayers. And it's a time of communities coming together and families coming together. Um, to me, it feels like 30 days of Thanksgiving because you're mm -hmm. supposed to be counting the blessings. But and without you have the food, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, well, but you have a special food at night time, right? Yeah, there's right? lots, lots exactly. of food. There's a yeah. lot of food after Later. sunset. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Every night is sort of a Thanksgiving meal and that's probably mm -hmm. breaking the rules. Uh, Adina, Adina, I, I want to bring up the thing in New York right sure. now because I'm sure that's what everybody's talking mm -hmm. about. The building of a Muslim center uh, 13 or 15 stories mm -hmm. high, two blocks from ground zero. The sensitivity is enormous. People have taken sides on this issue. The criticism and the people are full of fear will say uh, that means they won. That means that they now have a mm -hmm. foothold in a way that no other religious institution does right around ground zero mm -hmm. to that respect. And these are people who are kind and gentle, but they really want a theocracy and eventually mm -hmm. spread Sharia around right. the world and create a caliphate here in the United States. Right. I think that's people's worst fears talking. And you know what I think is unfortunate is that if people actually got the chance to meet, you know, the, the, the folks who are behind this center, they'd get a very different picture because the, the folks who are trying to create this, this center, which is really modeled after a YMCA or a JCC, mm -hmm. a Jewish community center, you know, Know, it's going to have a, a pool and a performing arts center and all of those kinds of things and a prayer space within it. So it's really a center more than it is a mosque. But many and these people, people in New want York, to. Sorry, not, go ahead. Not, do, not the governor. I'm mean, yeah. sorry, not the mayor. Mayor Bloomberg mm -hmm. is for it. But many people in New York feel, yes, that's fine. Three more blocks away. Sure, and you know, but the this place has been it's been in uh, in action for uh, a couple of years now. They've been having prayers there. I, it's unfortunately what's happened in this situation, like many others, is that there's a small group of vocal um, Islamophobes, people who are pushing hate for their own purposes and who are riling up a lot of feelings. Um, and you know, and the reality is that what this what this center is trying to do is defeat the kind of deadly and corrupted vision of Islam that led to 9/11 by replacing and promoting a different kind of vision of Islam that the vast majority of Muslims act, you know, support and it's meant to be a model of giving and, and mutual ex coexistence. And uh, with, with uh, traditional Muslim name, Adina Lekovic, right. <laughs> uh, we thank you so much for being with us. It's my pleasure. Happy Ramadan. Thank you. you. All right. Uh, next from General Hospital, Vanessa Marcel is back.
Vanessa Marcel. Uh, she's going to help me say her last name. Right. And Christopher Titus yes. is with us as well. Okay, we'll be back.